Hey Bridge users, I see you're finally ready to come over to the light side. Well, don't worry, my name's Mike Wardinsky. I'm gonna show you how to quickly convert your Bridge folder system into a Lightroom catalog. Before we can convert our Bridge folders into a Lightroom catalog, we need to create a new catalog itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to File and create a new catalog. And I'm gonna create this catalog within my Pictures folder and I'm gonna put the catalog within a new folder itself. So I'm gonna to go to new folder. I'll call this Mike's LR and hit create. And so here's our parent folder. This is where our catalog is gonna live. And this is also where we're gonna put all of our photos. So now I'm gonna go ahead and choose to save the catalog and I need to give the catalog a name. So I'll call this Mike's LR cat, short for catalog. And I'll hit create. So Lightroom now needs to close my current catalog and I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the backup and it's gonna create a new catalog for us. Okay, so here we are in our new catalog and you can see there's no photographs here. If I pop down over to the finder and go to my pictures folder, you can see here's my Mike's LR folder and if I open that up, I have Mike's LR cat. That's my catalog folder, parent folder and if I open that up, this is where my catalog file is stored along with all of the previews and all the other data that the catalog needs. Now it's really important to know where this catalog lives on your computer, that way you can find it if you ever need to. And it's also a good idea to not put anything else within this particular folder, just leave it as is. So we're gonna go ahead and close this folder and we're gonna create another folder under Mike's LR. So I'm gonna click right here, File, New Folder, and I accidentally put that in the wrong spot, but that's, a fun, that's okay, we can just drag it right up. And I'm gonna call this LR Photos. And I'll drag that into Mike's LR. So now we have our catalog right here. And this LR Photos folder is where all of your current Bridge photos are going to go. So now I'm gonna open up Bridge so you can see my example photos and how we're gonna make this work. So here's Bridge down here in my dock. And I've got a couple of different folders that I want to show you guys. So I have a folder called Other Photos, which has nine photos within it. I know that because it says it right down here. And then I have another folder called Travel Photos, but this one has three folders within it. I can click on these and I can see I've got four photos here. I've got another three right here and another six photos right here. Now most of these are raw photos that haven't been edited, so I'm gonna make a few edits just so you can see that my edits are also gonna come along with the photos into Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this fox over here, and that's gonna open up Camera Raw, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this black and white. So it's very obvious that this has been edited, and maybe we'll pull the highlights down and just the overall exposure and hit done. So now you can see this fox is black and white and I'll just do one more from the landscapes. Maybe I'll, I'll take this pier here and again, I'll make it black and white and then hit done. Okay, so now it's time to bring everything over to Lightroom. But before we do that, the thing we wanna do is go back over to our finder and put all of our folders that we have over here into this LR photos folder. So I've got my other photos folder, drag that up there and then I have travel photos and I'll drag that in as well. And you can see here's my folders and if I open travel folders, there's my three subfolders. This folder structure is gonna come into Lightroom as is and so will all of the edits. So now let's head back over to Lightroom and I'm gonna go to File, Import Photos and Video. And then I need to navigate to where those photos are on the hard drive. So right now I'm searching in my external, so I'll close that and open up the, the main drive, go to my users, and then down to pictures, and lastly down to Mike's LR, and then LR photos. And when I click on this, you can see all of the photos that I wanna bring in are already here. Unlike Bridge, Lightroom shows you every single photo that's within the subfolders as well. So the only thing I have to do is select this LR Photos folder, make sure check all is checked, so everything has a checkbox, and then I need to tell Lightroom what I wanna do with these photos. Right now, it's going to copy them to this destination, and I could copy them if I wanted to, but in this case, I wanna leave them exactly where they were. So in this case, I'll just choose Add, and you can see my 
I can't choose a location anymore because it's leaving them where they are. And then all I have to do is choose import. Now you can see these photos came in really quickly. That's because there were only 22 of them. If you're trying to import years worth of work into Lightroom, it's going to take, you know, a half an hour, an hour, maybe even a couple of hours, depending on how many photos you're importing and how fast your computer is. By default, Lightroom shows you the last import. So if I look at catalog here, here's my previous import. I've got 22 photos. And then right underneath that, I have my folders. So you can see everything's conveniently located right underneath LR photos. If I expand that, I've got other photos, which are these nine. And you can see the other ones disappeared because I clicked on the folder and there's only nine photos in here. And then I can go down to travel photos and I've got 13 photos, yet I can continue to open that. I can go to my landscape photos, my people, or my wildlife photos. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mike, I thought you said that the edits were gonna come over. And they did, let me show you that. So I'm gonna back out to the LR Photos folder, and then I'm gonna click on that fox that I edited in Camera Raw. And I'm gonna hit the D key to go to the Develop module. And when I do that, you see that the metadata updated and the photo actually is black and white. And if I go to the Basic panel, you can see that my sliders are moved to the exact same location that they were in Camera Raw. Now this isn't really a big deal, but if you want, you can go back to the library, make sure we're in the grid view by hitting G or choosing this icon, and we can hit Command A on a Mac, that'd be Control A on a PC, and then simply Control click or right click on any thumbnail within the grid view, choose metadata, and then read metadata from files. And so we get this message, we're just gonna hit read. And now you can see that my pure shot is also black and white. Now the last piece of really important information that I have to pass along to you is once you start using Lightroom, don't go back to Bridge and start editing these photos in Bridge as well. The last thing you wanna be doing is editing your photos in both Lightroom and Bridge. The metadata will get messed up and you're gonna lose some edits. So once you transition to Lightroom, stay in Lightroom. If you're new to Lightroom, I've got a couple of really great videos for you to check out. The first is how to properly set up a Lightroom catalog. It sort of covers what we just did, but in a little more detail and with a little more explanation of why. And then I have a Lightroom tutorial about the library module and another tutorial about the develop module, both of which are in-depth and will be highly valuable to you. I'll leave links to all three videos down in the description below. Additionally, I have a Lightroom playlist with all of my Lightroom tutorials within it. So that's it. It's pretty easy to convert your bridge into a Lightroom catalog. Let me know if you have any questions about this process. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'm usually pretty good about answering those. Don't forget to check out my website, naturemike.com. I've got a lot of really great articles, in-field workshops, and private post-processing lessons that I do through there. And thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.